Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name's Adrian. I'm in New York City and I am interested in beauty, all things beauty. And right now, particularly this video, uh, trying to save some money <laughs> with respect to like keeping up with all the beauty regimens. And so, um, I wanted to make this video because, uh, and if you haven't seen it already, I, I did um, a nighttime routine, like a winter skincare routine, um, a few days ago. And there I talked about how I'm going to be starting my low buy, or that I already started my low buy uh, this month for the rest of the year, giving myself a $50 budget a month, um, but hopefully not even using the $50 budget and letting it roll over to kind of control some of my expenses uh, that are beauty related that got a little out of hand last year. Um, but what I wanted to celebrate today is sort of like where maybe some of my expenses in terms of, you know, makeup and skincare and all of that got a little out of hand during the pandemic, which we're still in, but you know, from working from home and, and whatnot, um, where I found success is on kind of cutting back on beauty services that I used to invest a lot of money on. And so this video is sort of kind of celebrating that and um, talking through maybe five or six things that I used to pay for that I no longer pay for. And um, why I don't no longer pay for them and what I do in lieu of them that is much more affordable, economical, and whatnot. So if that interests you, um, stay tuned. So the first thing that I noticed that changed very quickly in 2020 for me, and I see myself carrying it over into this year, is my need for manicures and pedicures. That just became obsolete. Uh, living in New York City, we have so many nail salons and you can get actually really good deals. Um, it's quite affordable to have your nails done, uh, assuming that you're not going to like the creme of the creme of all nail salons. Um, there are lots of great salons out there that will you could get a great manicure for. And I used to probably, get my manicure done um and i just get re a regular manicure um about once every two weeks and probably a pedicure every month or every six weeks so all in you know maybe a manicure with with all the you know tips and whatnot 20 25 dollars um a pedicure depending how luxurious I made it you could always upgrade into different kind of categories could be upwards of $40 $45 so once this sort of situation happened where we were at home I I just became determined to figure out a way to take care of my hands and my feet I had always been really impatient about painting my nails um, I found that uh, they chipped a lot when I did it um, I, I was just really messy about it and I didn't think I could get any better. Well, I did get better. I got really good at doing my nails. And I think part of that is I invested in some really great nail polish and I watched some great videos. Um, Kelly Marissa here on the platform, she's amazing with her nails and I, um, I read a lot of like her tips and tricks and whatnot. And so I wanted to make a few recommendations on some nail brands that I feel really changed my life and also um, nail toppers and, you know, the health of the nail. The first thing is like the health of the nail itself. And for me, I tend to have dry nails that um, split really easily or peel really easily and investing in a really good cuticle nail oil was essential and I keep this in my nightstand um it is the CND solar oil it's a nail cuticle oil it's like an almond oil it smells delicious it's great 
Uh, I have this one, like I said, by my nightstand. I put it on nightly and it's made such a difference in my cuticles as well as just my nails, the health of my nails. So I, I attribute this to a lot of like my success in that department. Um, also investing in a really good base coat for me again, nail splitting is a problem as well as dry nails. So I'm using currently the Nail Tech Strengthener, this one here. Um, it's, it's a little pricey, but it is a strengthener. So I prefer to use a strengthener versus just a regular base coat. Another one that I really like is from um, Dermalect. Uh, they are sold at Ulta, I believe, and they have some really, really good healthy base products as well for the nails. So I really, really enjoy that. And for a uh, top coat, I'm tried and true. I still use the Seche Vite uh, top coat. It's great, high gloss. Um, I don't always put top coat on my nails. It just really depends on the finish of the, um, the nail formula I'm going for. And so I just wanted to touch on three brands of nails of nail colors and polishes that I really really adore and I discovered well one of them I I knew I was gonna love and the other two I had discovered this year so the first one let's go with the one I knew I loved uh, light slacker so this is Kathleen lights brand light slacker she used to have the brand uh, KL polish and then moved on over to uh, create her own independent brand, Light Slacker. I really, really love a lot of these nail polishes. Um, this color in particular is what I have on my nails. It is like the perfect nude for me. It's called uh, Lila. There, there it is, if you can see. Um, it's just a beautiful color. I love that she has um, a very wide, you know, brush makes application super easy. I find her nail polish is really nice and thin and self-leveling. And so that is something I look for now because I realize that's part of making the application really nice and pretty and not messy. Um, but she has, her cream formulas have really, really nice self-leveling um, kind of attributes as well as just the pigmentation is beautiful. In two coats, you get like full pigmentation and I really, really enjoy that. So um, yeah, I love this color. I love her nail polish. I'm really rarely disappointed with um, her nail polish colors. Another brand that I discovered this year is um, Cirque Colors. Uh, this is a little bit pricier. And this uh, color here is called Persica. And it's this beautiful peachy color that has little flecks of um, kind of copper, uh, copper glitter. And I just love it. It's so unique. It's really, really beautiful. Um, I like this brand. I like how small their, their polishes are. Like they're just really easy to handle. They are a Brooklyn based brand. So I'm always happy to, uh, support, you know, a New York city brand. They have a regular thinner, um, brush but i think that their formulas are really really great and it's still really easy to apply and also have a great self-leveling uh format so um highly recommend trying cirque colors uh in particular their jelly their jelly um formula is incredible uh really really beautiful i got a tortoise shell set from them and i love it i love making the tortoise shell design with the three colors that they give you in this little kit and each color is just beautiful as a standalone. I should have actually put that one in the video, but I'll paint my nails like that again and uh, I'll I'll show it one day. Um the next up that I was very impressed with, I had never tried this brand before is Zoya. Um Zoya has a ton a ton of colors and this one in particular I think is really special as is the formula. This is one of their pixie dust formulas and this color is called ISTI, I-S-T-I. And it is like a blue, a super sparkly blue silver. And it has these like really fine glitter particles. And when your nail dries, it dries with texture. So if you're not into that, you can certainly like paint a top coat and 
be done with it. But I just find like this formula as well as like the Cirque, having these little special kind of treatments in the formula, um, it's just nice. It's nice. It feels like something special you would do at a salon and yet you're doing it at home. And I love it. And this color is just really, really, really stunning on the nails. Um, just really beautiful. So that's my plug for nail polishes. Um, and I feel like all in, ultimately, I'm saving a lot of money, even though maybe some of these polishes cost a little bit on the onset. I've been consistently doing my manicure every single week, and I love the fact that I have a variety of polishes to do it. So that's my like number one. Number two is a pedicure, and a pedicure is a little different. Um, I actually don't love to paint my toes too much, but I would use the same kind of polish, and I, I do use the same um, oil on my toenail beds. But for me, what I really loved about the process of having a pedicure is just kind of getting rid of all the dead skin. And there are a couple of things I do to kind of maintain that. One of them is using baby feet. I love baby feet. The original, the original baby foot is the way to go. This is about like $20. You can get it on sale, I think, for like maybe $16. It is totally worth it. I use this maybe once every four months or so as like a really deep, deep exfoliation. And your foot will peel, like everything will peel completely in like a few days. Just follow the instructions, keep it on. And then every single night I, I would just, um, after showering, just moisturize and put on socks. And you'll see that the skin just kind of peels away and it's it's magical what what is revealed. And then sort of in between that, if I don't want something as intense, um, Wish has a great product called the Exfoliating Foot Mask. And this, you put on at night, you then you put on a pair of socks, and in the morning you rinse it off. And it just keeps your, your skin really, really nice and baby soft. And it's really kind of like effortless. If you, cracked heels is an issue for you, um, this product by Earth Therapeutics is great. It's called the Cracked heel repair um and it's this like kind of push up um it has a beautiful kind of scent to it just very refreshing and you just kind of push it up and you rub this balm on your heels and it really helps repair if you have like any kind of deep cracks or anything and then you just kind of put on socks too and this is more just moisturizing you wouldn't rub this off whereas this one is exfoliating so that's a little a little bit of a difference and then lastly if you really have cracked heels or want to invest in something i have to say i really like this tool so this is from tor or emoji it's called the tornado it's this thing here um i got this on qvc a while ago and you see this head here it has like it's it's like a nail file and what you do is you take it off you turn it on and on dry feet you just run this over your calluses and it takes them off immediately and it doesn't have um it doesn't it's not like severe like the way like it is if you were to like take a razor to them it's just really really fast and um it feels safer if, if that makes sense it's a little bit more hygienic um i did also want to mention one other thing when it comes to um the nail polish that i didn't want to overlook these are my favorite kind of nail stickers if you're kind of into that instead these are the in coco brand they sell these at ulta and i think that they just have really elegant kind of patterns these are really fun these are burgundy with a silver they have these beautiful ones that are basically clear with like micro glitter on on the end i love these and i feel like if my hands are really struggling like my nail growth is just not there um, even though I, I like to keep my nails pretty short, sometimes I do grow them a little longer. And if I want to do that, one of the best ways to protect my nails is actually to do that with these guys on. These last forever on me and I find my nails grow really fast with them on. So I love them. I think they're great. Super easy to apply. Um, yeah, I was kind of shocked. I think I got these free with gift and I've been purchasing, um, purchasing them since. So that's really on the nail front. Um, 
let me get what I need to tackle number three. I am back. Number three is hair care. Um, I did a dedicated video to this next product. And so if you're interested in learning more information about it, I even showed the way I apply it and everything. Um, but that product is the DP Hue Gloss Plus. I love this stuff. It temporarily colors your hair. It will tone any kind of highlights that you might have. That's really what I got it for. It actually um, tones even my gray hairs. Um, I haven't had to go to the hairdresser since last February, and I've just been doing hair maintenance since. And this is one of the products that has really, really helped me. So definitely check out that video if you're interested in that. Um, additionally, when I think about like going to the hairdresser, I love like the treatments that are done on my hair. Like I love the deep cleansing of, a, of the scalp. I love also the shine my hair has. And so definitely investing in some products like, for example, for a scalp scrub. This one's great by Nature Lab Tokyo. They are found at Ulta. And a little goes a long way. This is a great, great clarifying scalp scrub. And it has a really nice kind of refreshing man's cologne scent. It's it's nice though. It's, it's nice. Um, so I really like that. Um, or for shine, like a shine for the hair, I'm a, I'm really enjoying the Amica Flash. Um, this is an instant shine mask. It just creates like the most volume in my hair, and it just it makes me feel very like va va voom. Um, too bad I didn't put it in my hair today because it's so like flat. Uh, but that's that's what I love and or also just any kind of deep conditioning treatment right now I don't have any on hand but I really love the macadamia line um also they sell that at Ulta the deep repair uh, mask is wonderful and they have a few different kinds depending on your hair texture that one's great that one's really really great so um I would recommend that one as well um now for hair, oh, and, and sorry, one more thought um, I had. If you're trimming your own hair, or that is something you are contemplating doing, I have actually cut my hair. Uh, my hair probably, uh, I've probably cut a total of like eight inches off of it over the course of this year. My hair grows, oops, <laughs> my hair grows very, very quickly. And so I have trimmed it myself. And the one thing I will say is invest in a nice pair of hair shears. You can find them on Amazon, very affordable, but hair shears matter. Um, I actually have always cut my husband's hair. So I had already invested in really nice hair shears. And so it was really easy. And you can, you can, if you're struggling to figure out like, can you give yourself a haircut at home? The answer is yes. There's also a lot of great tutorials online. I actually followed one by Brad Mondo, who I adore. I'm so smitten with him. And he, yeah, it's super easy to kind of uh, follow his technique with like kind of what to keep in mind when you're when you're doing it, and you know don't be too scared about it. It's it's just hair; it will grow back. Uh, but yeah, it's it's it saved me a ton, a ton of money and a ton, a ton of time. Um, in the same realm as hair, but just different, we'll go into category four, which is hair removal. Now this one's gonna get a little bit personal, but um, I have actually really liked having control of like doing my own eyebrows, taking care of these little hairs here, taking care of any other hairs that pop up. And I have found some really great products to kind of just help me keep that all under control. Um, one of them is I'm sure that you've seen dermablading, uh, dermaplaning, uh, whatever you may want to call it. It's this, these sort of like blades here, which you can't really like cut yourself and they have this kind of protective layer. Um, I was actually introduced to dermaplaning 
at a little boutique here in New York called Lilibeth. Lilibeth, New York. Um, it used to be actually at Columbus Circle. They used to have a, a kiosk. And I remember walking by once and they just kind of grabbed me and said, you know, can we do your eyebrows? And I'm like, sure, sure, you can do my eyebrows. And they did my eyebrows just incredibly using this and then, um, you know, their fillers, whatever they used to fill like a pomade. Um, and I was so impressed because for me, I've always had very sensitive skin. And if I tweeze my eyebrows or I wax or thread, I just get a reaction. The skin around my eyes gets really, really red. Um, and irritated and so that was never really an option for me and so I love having kind of discovered and and have used this really consistent consistently for already a few years but in the last year I've really used this for lots of other things so of course this is a great physical exfoliator for your your if you have um like little peach fuzz or anything it's just really easy to take off and that exfoliates that's in effect exfoliating your skin after doing that you'll just see how pretty your makeup looks um, because there's not those little hairs everywhere to like kind of catch the product um, also instead of like waxing my lip I just go in and shave that as well and it works beautifully if you happen to be of a certain age and your hormones are catching up with you and now there's new hairs popping up in places like on your chin you can also use this product though on the chin i do like to um, use a tweezer that one i will go with a tweezer tweezer good mirror you get rid of that done and i i have a tweezer man I do believe in investing in a good tweezer like a tweezer man and I've actually so tweezer man the reason like they be they are as popular as they are it's just the quality is superior and what is really lovely about them as a brand is you can send in your tweezers to be sharpened and they will send them back to you they'll they they will sharpen them for free all you have to do is pay for the postage there they pay for the postage coming back and they sharpen them and it's like a lifetime warranty. So I love that about them. So Tweezer Man is, is my brand. Um, so I do believe a, a good set of tweezers. And then um, if you are wanting to wax, for me, I don't like to actually do at home wax kits. It's just too messy for me. Um, if I want the effect of a wax, I actually use an epilator, which I know is like, like maybe cringy to a lot of people. But this one is by, I'm trying to find the brand name. Um, oh, it's also Emoji, E-M-I-J-O-I, -I, um, like, the, like the heel thing. I also think I got this at QVC a while ago. But this actually, it's not so bad. The pain is not so bad. It goes very quickly for me. And I think it does a really, really good job. Um, I don't use it often, but if I do feel like, oh, I'm gonna be wearing a lot of skirts or you know, showing my legs more, and I don't really wanna go down the route of just shaving all the time, I will do that and I will be good for a good three weeks. And it leaves the skin really nice you can apply you can do certain things to make the pain less um including taking a couple of advil if inflammation is is key but of course you know you do you but that's that's what i like to do so i feel like that in lieu of like spending oh my gosh to wax my legs it's a lot of money i i, I liked going to the european wax center I mean, it was like $40 more. That's kind of crazy. So anywho, that's, that's what I do. And I feel like that's been really working for me. So now category number five, it's your facials. So I used to go to um, either Caudalie in New York or Dermalogica to get facials. Very, very expensive, 
both places, but very, very worthwhile. What I loved about going to both of those, one or the other, was the entire experience was very, very soothing, relaxing, kind of just transformative, really, really transformative. In a place like New York with all the hustle and bustle, when you had a facial at either of those places, it's just you were like in a cocoon and for an hour, an hour and a half, it was like you were on a vacation in a spa. I mean, it's it's that, that wonderful. So um, I certainly miss having that experience, but what I realized was I can actually create a lot of that experience. And the wonderful thing is, of course, each of those brands for me are brands that I have access to their products. So I have collected over time products from that line, but I will highlight a couple of steps that I realized when you're doing your at-home facial, you really should focus on. Um, one of those is obviously you want to set the mood for yourself. So whether that's lighting, maybe putting on some calming music, uh, diffusing some oil in the air or lighting a candle, all of that matters because it kind of psychologically relaxes you. Part of the beauty of a facial is not just the cleansing aspect, it's the experience. It's just giving yourself the time, giving your, your skin the time to breathe. What I will say is facials take time. So you wanna set aside time. It's not about throwing a sheet mask on your face and being done in 20 minutes, although that is wonderful too, and if that's all you can do, fine. But if you want to create that hour long experience, hour and a half long experience that you would pay for at a salon, you're gonna have to create you know, certain kind of environmental parameters and also give yourself that time, the same time you would you would if you were to have gone there. And so some of the things I do and I realize is when I'm having a facial, besides the environment, besides the music and the calming nature of it all, was to go through the ritual of the product. So first they would always cleanse my skin and they would cleanse it with a series of micellar waters and then follow up with a kind of physical cleanser. And so having a beautiful, you know, micellar water that you use, I really like the Clarins Remove. It's a hydrating micellar water. It's really, really pretty. Um, you can use a, a, a just a nice watery one. Um, that one's lo that's lovely too. But first, it's the purification of the skin. And I don't know about you, but I made a point to realize they go through the cleansing process maybe four or five times, of, and also just the massaging and um, and really just getting getting everything squeaky squeaky clean before they go and start applying products the next thing they do is if you they analyze your skin which is something you can do if you see that you have lots of congestion which happens to me around my nose you can use great products for that i love the um the purity made simple pore extractor by philosophy this stuff will take out all the gunk inside of your pores. All of it, all of it, all of it. Sometimes you need two applications of this over the course of a couple of days, um, but it, it really does work and it's and it avoids you kind of picking at your at your nose, at yourself, because sometimes that could be actually quite damaging. So this is kind of a way to get rid of all those blackheads without you having to kind of go in there and extract them yourself. Um, another thing I noticed is they often incorporate some type of physical exfoliant. So this is a physical exfoliant, but really concentrated, and this is based in clay, concentrated to decongest in sort of that area. But for the rest of the area, they tend to use a physical exfoliant too, and I notice it's sort of like a powdery one that they mix there um, at both places. I've noticed that. So I actually love the Dermalogical, the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is a little mini size, but it lasts forever. You don't need the full size. Um, it is a powder 
that has these little granules and I just mix this you can mix it with just a little bit of water and that's gonna get you your maximum exfoliation. But if you wanna be a little bit more soft, like soft with, with your application, maybe you're a little worried you're gonna over exfoliate, you can mix it with a very mild cleanser. I like using just plain old Cetaphil or V Hydrating Cleanser. And you just do a pump of that, some of the powder, and you put it on. And again, it's about massaging your face, taking a full, two, three, four minutes, and then going ahead and cleansing the face. And when you're cleansing the face, using a very soft fiber, microfiber uh, wash rag versus kind of like just dousing your face in a cleanser. Um, so I really, really like that. Um, I know uh, Good Molecules has a, a nice one, which is the pineapple exfoliating powder. This is very nice very affordable, highly recommend. So after you've done sort of all that cleansing, um, I would then start the hydration process because I don't know about you, but for me, the fa my favorite part of a facial is g leaving glowing, like glowing like a dewy baby, glowing, glowing. And so hydration, hydration, hydration is key and it's layering. Um, I adore using hydrating essences to get me there. And so this is the Misha Time Revolution Essence. There are so many essences out there. Uh, Fresh has a black kombucha one, which is really, really nice. Of course, Ski2. Is it Ski2 or SK2? I don't know. That brand, the very, very expensive brand, um, they have also there's lots of essences out there but this one is actually pretty affordable for what you get and i love doing the five skin six skin treatment which is basically that you put this essence on your face about five times and it takes a good 10 minutes to do it because you want to let it dry a little in between and that's just gonna plump up your face and get it ready to absorb the next layer of products, which then I would follow up with a serum. Of course, this all depends on your skin type. If you're an oily skin type, maybe you wouldn't do as many steps. If you're a dry skin type, you could probably go a little heavier with the products. But for me, I'm a combo, and I do love to use like a wonderful, serum so whether uh, that is like my double serum from clarence which i adore um there's lots of other great serums there's brightening serums if that's your focus this one is really really nice um from good molecules there's uh ooh, 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 i'm trying to find it here the uh discoloration correcting serum it's a really really lovely serum um then I would follow up with a mix of an oil as well as a um, another serum probably. This is sort of a combo by Clarins, the Plant Gold. It includes a, a pretty popular oil of theirs, their Blue Orchid with a hydrating serum. Um, if that's too heavy for you and you just want an oil, you can take a lighter um, hydrating serum. I love this one from I'm From. Um, it's a Korean brand. I take this and a, a couple of drops of something like, let's say the Bosha Rose Hit Face Oil or any oil that suits you and mix it all together and just press it into the skin. And lastly, I would put on a nice, rich moisturizer, whatever that moisturizer might be. If you're doing this at night, of course, you don't, you don't have to worry about uh, sunscreen. If you're doing it for, for the day, yes, you should absolutely worry about sunscreen. If you're doing it at night, you could use something with like a glycolic in it, which will have a further exfoliation, but it's pretty mild. Um, but I really like as a hydrator at night, this one by Caudalie is beautiful. It's the uh, Vinosource SOS Intense Cream intense moisturizing cream love this it's it's wonderful their products are just fantastic and it has just the, the slightest scent really not not very scented at all a, a lot of their their entire line is based on uh, grape derivatives because they're actually a vineyard 
in France. And so this is all the derivatives around the uh, winemaking process that instead of kind of trashing them, they're using them inside of their products um, because they has a lot of anti-aging components. And in the midst of all these steps, something I noticed that both places do is they mist my face. So whether that is misting with just a nice purified water, like an Evian mist or something like that, or like in Caudalie, they love using their beauty elixir. This is very minty, refreshing, not everyone's cup of tea, but certainly is mine. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful mist, fine. It's also great over makeup. Um, it's just beautiful and it, it just instantly transports you, instantly transports you to this place. Um, you know, there's lots of varieties that you can create in between. In between, before you start the moisturizing, if you want to do a sheet mask, that's a brightening sheet mask or something like a treatment, like an eye gel treatment, you could certainly do that too. But there's just so much that you can do to kind of create this um, spa-like experience for yourself. So I just challenge you to think about what you like about kind of escaping in those environments and just try, try to take care of it yourself. You'd be surprised at what you have on hand and which by the way, there's tons in the kitchen, tons of items you can use, beautiful oils and whatnot to create like face masks and to create a luxurious sensorial experience. Um, so that is it for uh, the beauty realm. I hope this was interesting, helpful, encourages you on your low buy or no buy year to maybe also extend that into beauty services. Um, it's just, just a thought, just a thought. Um, two more quick things I will mention that have really made a difference in my budget in terms of services or just kind of lifestyle changes. I used to go to acupuncture all the time. Acupuncture for me is um, was essential to my well-being. Um, it helped me with my migraines. Um, it helped me with uh, regulating my hormones and um, even with my back. And that has probably been like the hardest thing because I haven't been able to go back to my acupuncturist who I had seen for well over a decade. Um, I miss her dearly, I love her, but she's also being safe um, and has moved her practice for a bit. So in the midst of that, I have I have started to use um, little acupuncture seeds. These are little, little tiny metal seeds that are on stickers and you can actually put them inside of your ear, or around your ear on acupressure points. And I have to say that actually, it works, which is so weird because for me, the experience of acupuncture wasn't just the actual application of the needles in um, the pressure points. It was just also the whole mood. And so I can create the whole mood that my acupuncturist did for me in New York. You know, it's the lighting, it's the aromatherapy. Um, products that she used, it's the music she played, I have all of that. But it's just very interesting, these little seeds, you can uh, buy them actually on Amazon and there's great charts to show you which points to kind of pinpoint and put them in. Um, but they're very effective, they're very, very effective. So that has really helped me. Um, another thing that's really been amazing for me is cooking. So I didn't know how to cook, I knew how to bake, but I did not know how to cook at all. And in the midst of all, and, and actually that's not that big of a deal in New York City because our takeout and kind of, is actually pretty affordable. And yeah, you know, I could make a simple meal, but I didn't know how to make a real, real meal. Um, not on a consistent basis. It was always very exhausting to me. I had made Thanksgiving dinners and things like that. And it's always like taken everything out of me. And that's how I equated the process of cooking to kind of like day to day and it was just too much between work and everything it's just I didn't have the mental faculties for it but now since last March I have actually been doing one of those um 
meal kit delivery places. I've been doing Martha and Marley Spoon. So it's the Martha Stewart one. I want to show you a recipe card. So this is one of the recipe cards that come in the boxes. And you still have to chop everything and you have to have some base ingredients too to make it happen. But, and I just wanna show you how pretty, and you see I take notes. I write notes on like things I would change about the recipe or something. This is actually one of my favorite recipes. This is the eggplant, but it's phenomenal. And I, so I've been doing this for over a year. We get about three meals a week. And I have just learned so many different recipes, recipes that I can easily create. I have cooked every type of cuisine under the sun. I've cooked Indian, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Greek, everything, everything, everything. And I'm, I have now created this book for myself of like my favorite recipes from them because the cards are just so beautiful. I mean, they're just visually really beautiful. Instructions are super easy to follow. The shopping list is there. And now my husband and I have just started to purchase the ingredients of some of our favorite recipes and cook them. And I'm just, I'm mind blown. I'm, my mind is blown at the fact that I cook now. It's crazy to me. So if you're scared of cooking like I was because you came from a house where your mother cooked like a chef and your grandfather cooked like a chef and your dad cooked like a chef and they kicked you out of the kitchen and you didn't know what the heck you were doing. If that's your life, <laughs> like mine, <laughs> maybe trying one of these, ooh, one of these boxes. Um, they're pretty affordable for what you get. You get lots of leftovers. I find, depending on the dish you choose, the quality of the food is really, really good. And yeah. I just really, really love it. So um, to you US-based folks, this is my, my, my little tip trick. I know there are lots of others out there like HelloFresh and whatnot, and maybe those are great too, but I just love kind of having uh, built the confidence. And I don't know, for my European friends, I don't know if you guys have something like this or if this is just silly to you, because let me tell you, the one thing about Europe, your markets love love the markets love the markets love the in-season cooking love 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 so maybe this is not you know a concern to you <laughs> so i hope i hope this was helpful i hope this inspired you to keep on track with your low buy no buy um maybe take a look around and see where you could save some money um i'd love to hear your ideas um or things that just sort of help you keep costs at bay this is gonna be a long journey and I am looking forward to kind of reveling in all the positivity about it. So um, take care and we will speak soon. Okay, bye everyone.